Hi there, Jessica here with your quick Google tip. Today's tip revolves around the tool Google Keep. Google Keep is a digital tool that you can use to make to-do lists. Years ago, I would make my to-do lists on a legal pad and then hope I would remember to bring that legal pad with me wherever I went. And in the times that I didn't remember, I would resort to writing to-do lists on the back of envelopes or on post-it notes and then hope I would remember not to lose those. Uh, obviously, it, it didn't always work, so I have since then transitioned to this product, Google Keep. So let's take a look at how to get it and then what it looks like. The first thing you need to know is where to get it. So first you need to log into your Google account. Once you've done that, then you can do a few things. One, you can go to keep.google.com. Once you do that, you'll probably be prompted to uh, connect one of your Google accounts with this tool, Google Keep, uh, especially if you log in with multiple accounts like I do. If you only have one Google account, uh, then it, it shouldn't be a problem. You'll just associate it with the one you have. So again, that's keep.google.com. The other option you have is to go to the Chrome Web Store if you're using the Chrome browser. In the Chrome Web Store, you can search for Google Keep and you would select this app, Google Keep Notes and Lists. Make sure you've selected the app and you would install it and after you've installed it then you would notice it as an option under your apps if you're using the Chrome browser. If you're using a Chromebook it's even better because once you install this app you can actually drag it down to your app tray. So I'm on a desktop using the Chrome browser at the moment, so I'm just going to go back to Google Keep, the tool, and let's take a look at what does this product look like. Um, so I think visually speaking you can tell you can make different colors, you can arrange your to-do lists in different locations, and you can open up any one list and do some things with that. So for me, um, I often think of to-do lists when I'm sitting still. Um, unfortunately, sometimes it's right before bed. And uh, so some of these items are just thoughts that have popped in my head, things that I need to check out, address, um, continue working on, or just maybe explore. Um, so that's why my to-do lists are just short little one-word uh, or two-word uh, type of things. So let's take a look at what you can do with these lists. The first option is to set a reminder. So if you have a to-do list coming that you know, you need to kind of be reminded to take care of this. Um, maybe once a week or every Tuesday or whatever it is, you can do that. Um, so you can set either later today, tomorrow, next week. You pick the date. You can also set it to look for a location. Now I have set home and work on my computer, but you can also pick a place. This is pretty cool. So for example, I have a shopping list here. And uh, when I go into Walmart, for example, uh, if I don't write things down, I often forget uh, about 50% of what I was supposed to go in to get. So I tend to make a shopping list. And I can set a reminder that anytime I get near a certain place, I will get a reminder to address this shopping list. So I'm going to click this. So now I have just set a reminder that anytime I get near Walmart in Platteville that I need to take care of this list. So what's going to happen is because I'll on my phone I have GPS turned on or location services. Uh, anytime I get near Walmart in Platteville my phone's going to say, oh yeah, hey, you've got this shopping list to address, which is perfect. It's exactly what I need. The other feature I'll address right away is with this shopping list I have the ability to share it. So uh, if I um, collaborate on a shopping list, I can share it with my husband and uh, give him just a heads up, hey, I'm, I'm stopping at Walmart, can you add to the shopping list? If he opens up Google Keep on his end, he will also see the same shopping list, so he can add to it things he needs. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So let's take a, let's go back to my original. That's probably my favorite uh, feature right there, is the ability to give me a reminder based on date, time, and even place. So I've already covered reminders and the ability to share. You can also change colors. If you're someone that um, cares about the visual appeal, 
It's a little more pleasing to the eye. I think um, when they're all white, they I need some to stand out for me. You can also upload an image. I haven't done this, but it doesn't mean it's uh, not a great idea. So check that out. See if that's something you would like for some reason. You can also archive it when you're finally done. If you don't necessarily want to delete the to-do list, you just want to archive it, you can do that. I could see people doing that. If I were writing a grant or if I were going through an application process uh, and I needed to remember that for next year, some colleagues of mine wrote a grant last year and they're applying for the same grant again this year, I could see why just archiving a to-do list is a really good idea. And I can do a few more things by clicking on the three little dots to the to the right here. I can delete it. I can add a label. I can make a copy. You can also hide check boxes. Um, some people do this. I don't like it. I'll just show you what it looks like. If you click hide check check boxes, then this all shows up as a single a text box list. I don't like that. I really want my check boxes. So uh, I'm actually going to put those back. And I can also copy this to a Google Doc. Um, for example, if I were collaborating with someone, I wanted them to see a to-do list of things I, I had done on a process, but they didn't have Google Keep. I could copy it to a Google Doc just to share as a separate thing. Note, though, that if they make any edits to it, it's not going to show up in Google Keep, just to kind of keep that clear. I also see that I appreciate that um, when I finish items, say, um, I've, I've got this, I often think of things I want to blog about, um, but I often forget to do it when I open up WordPress and it's time to blog. I, I can't remember those things. So I, I try to make blogging topics. I see that the things that I have completed show up as checked. I kind of like that too. Um, just so I can, some in some cases it's just, it feels good to actually see things checked off my list. Um, but also I can kind of keep track of what I have already completed. A um, couple other things you can arrange over on the top right corner if for some reason you want to see this as just one long list you can I don't like scrolling so I'm not gonna do that I'm going to go back and click the grid view here I like seeing everything on one page now if you want to start a new note you simply you will always have this white box in the top center so you would click add a new note give it a title um, summer goals I'll put summer goals and inside the note now I'm clicking here I'm gonna write my to-do list so over here on the f about the, the center of the page here I can click new list meaning now it's going to be check boxes so just keep that in mind the default is gonna be that running list you would actually need to click that button for check boxes alright so I'm gonna start summer goals would be camping um, uh, ISTE conference just a couple places I need to go so I'll just check a few just so you can kinda of see and again if I want to set reminders for this one post-it note I can click um, the little finger with a kinda of looks like a string tied around the finger and select a reminder I can also share my list with somebody else I can change the color they don't have a, a grand selection of colors yet and I can also upload an image um, click done and now my goals have been added and I can click um, click the the checkbox next to it so if you click uh, you can either click on the item to open your to-do list or I see there's always a, a little checkbox that kind of appears once you hover over it if you click that it allows you to do a few things with it but frankly it's so typical of Google tools to have you can do all these things multiple ways so I can do them here or frankly I can just open up the note and do them all here so again uh, check out Google Keep I think it's just a fabulous tool to learn how to or to practice wise organization of tasks and to-do lists uh, if you do put it on your Google Chrome account please if you have a smartphone or, or an iPad download the app Google Keep you're gonna find that it's a lovely tool um, that uh, is visually appealing on those mobile devices uh, and it's really easy to enter them in on those devices for example many of these things I have popped in when using my Android smartphone uh, so it's an easy tool it helps me stay organized it's something I keep up every day matter in fact I'm in the Chrome browser here I'm about to start my day I've got a few things open I'm actually gonna right click and pin this tab so Google Keep stays open all day long for me I can't accidentally close it it's a fantastic way it is definitely my digital legal pad enjoy Google Keep check it out